An EU copyright law threatens to kill memes for everyone. Hmm. Okay. So there's this copyright law out there. It might kill memes for everyone. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, Pepe the Frog, the distracted boyfriend meme, and author's balled up fist are all under threat. Uh, no thanks. I do not want to let you know my location news site. I don't want to do that. So our reaction gifts, such as the one of a confused Zach... All right, we, we get it. We all know what memes and gifts are. Okay. EU lawmakers may inadvertently destroy the internet's robust meme culture with a proposed law designed to fight online piracy. One article in the legislation would force online platforms such as Google, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter to automatically censor copyrighted content uploaded by anyone who isn't licensed to share it. Activists say the law will effectively kill the text and photo jokes known as memes, which often feature images from copyrighted TV shows and movies. The law would also have a profound impact on the sharing of fan art, video game streaming, movie trailer reactions, and a wide range of pop culture-focused blogs created by users within Europe and beyond in countries such as the U.S. and Canada. Okay, so here's the thing. In the United States, and I know everybody's laws are, are different in this regard, but in the United States, we have the First Amendment. We have freedom of speech. Um, and that includes, when it comes to copyright law, that also includes some stanzas such as fair use. And fair use usually falls under, say, you take a creation, basically you take a creation and you add to it. Um, and you kind of make it your own creation, which one could argue that is exactly what a meme is. You take an existing photo, you add different things to it, words or so forth, to give it its own meaning. That's a meme, basically. That's essentially what a meme is. I would say that falls under fair use, no questions asked. Um, also, there's permits when it has an educational component. So if you're sharing political information, you're using a meme to get across a political point, I would say that certainly 110% falls within your First Amendment rights. And anything used to censor that would be a violation of First Amendment rights. Now, Facebook, Google, etc. are all private companies. So whether we like it or not, which I of course don't like it, they can censor whatever the hell they want. They should be public utilities at this point, but they're not. Um, so people are saying this law could be disastrous. Many activist internet titans are condemning this. This is called the Copyright Directive. It's very interesting that we're seeing this extensive censorship on a worldwide scale, and it's not just limited here in the United States. Because, you know, we've been, it, there's been a worldwide um, outrage about everything that's been going on on the internet. And who are the people making this stuff? Well, citizens. We the people are. So the internet platforms would be... So this is Article 13. The copyright directive legislation is primarily designed to take I'm in online piracy. But the two articles in the proposal have sparked outrage online. Under the potentially meme-killing Article 13, internet platforms will be responsible for automatically censoring and removing any unlicensed content. The internet platform will be legally responsible for any breaches, meaning the everyday user wouldn't be charged for posting a meme, you would just be censored from doing so altogether. Article 11 of the legislation has also come under fire for requiring platforms to pay a licensing fee in order to feature photos and links from online publishers. Opponents have called it a link tax. And several EU-based media organizations held the copyright directive in a joint statement, uh, calling it a crucial stand for the future of free independent press. A lobbying group representing Google, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and several online platforms have also come out against the law. I don't, I mean, we'll see what happens. I don't see this going too terribly far. Although I guess we live in an age where people take memes very seriously. <laughs> so who knows, maybe this will go further, we'll see. Let's see what you guys are saying. If you created a meme and made money, then I could see copyright or giving part of it to the original uh, content. Yeah, at the same time, when you take a meme and then you add to it, uh, it is no longer the original meme, therefore it is a law trying to control people's thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I see that. It's an attack on free speech. Billboard commercials are all memes. That's very true. It really got far. I heard so. Don't mess with my memes. Seeing Bernie arm wrestle Satan made me vote for Stein. 
Left needs to get innovative on the internet situation. I agree. Fred points out, if Article 13 passes, all uploads will be filtered before hitting the internet. And that's probably what this is all about. This, this isn't just about memes or giving a copyright holder credit. This is about wanting to have greater control about what goes on the internet. Okay, because the elites are losing their monopoly on the narrative, as Pam Ryan points out. This is fascism. Daniel, you are correct. This is definitionally what fascism is. All right, interesting article, and we'll have to keep an eye on... Um, We'll have to keep an eye on Article 13. I'm, I'm not, this is my first time being exposed to it. I'm still learning about it. But um, I think anything that cracks down on what you can and can't post on the internet has some uh, cyclical effects and can be a pretty bad thing. So, so we'll see how this all unfolds. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.